Hello, Carter. My name is Jeff, and I'm a co-founder of Lobo Leads, and I believe my wife Megan spoke with Joni recently about a quick website audit to show you where your company is ranking currently. She was nice enough to pass along your information so that we can show you how Texas Star Painting stacks up to its competition. Now, in this video, we'll go over a few specifics on search engine optimization, and I'll show you how beating your comp uh, competitors online can have huge benefits for your business, particularly when it comes to gaining new customers. So the three things we're going to go over today are content content, backlinks, and citations. Now, content is anything on the front page of your site that Google can read, so all the text, all the text within your images, and whatever your images are saved as. Now, to be considered an authority in Google's eyes, you're going to want it to be uh, to have at least 1,500 to 2,000 words on your front page, and you want it to be stuffed with content that has to do with buyer intent. So for you specifically, you'd be looking at things like Painter Dallas, Texas, or Painter Plano, Texas, Painting Contractor Dallas, Texas, and other con um, keyword phrases along those lines. That way, when anyone types those searches into Google, your website will be the one that pops up. Now, taking a look at your website, it is a very professional website. I love how clean it is. I love how you have the numbers up here that are clickable because most everyone nowadays is on their mobile device, so making it easier to get in touch with you is crucial to that. You do have several calls to action, which is also awesome, and then you have lots of internal linking. So I would venture to say that unless you are yourself are a... Um, web designer and an SEO expert, then you probably have someone uh, paying someone to do this for you, which um, is very, very common. Not, not everybody has time to be able to do this kind of stuff for their business and run the business. So a couple of things that I did want to um, bring to your attention is first off, the content on your home page is on the shorter side. I would say you probably have, including all these uh, location words here, maybe like three to 400 um, words of content. Again, you wanna shoot for 1500 to 2000. The reason for that being when Google combs through your site and looks for those keywords that I told you about, they're also looking to make sure that it isn't just stuffed into a single paragraph, hoping that um, you know it'll get picked up by Google. Google's smarter than that. So what they do is they look for those keywords to be built in organically throughout the website, throughout your homepage, and make sure that it makes sense because it is reading it as if it was a person. And so the easier that your website is to read, the easier it is to navigate, the more favorable it will be for Google. And the bonus is that you throw in those keywords, um, again, organically, so that whenever someone types those into Google, they'll show it'll show up here and it'll appear as a very credible and very trustworthy and authoritative site. So another thing that I would also suggest is because you have multiple locations, I see that you do have your home page. Now, um, I wasn't able to fully dive into whether or not you have separate Dallas and Austin pages themselves. And the reason for that being is you would want to do that so that you can target specific keywords to Dallas and Austin because people are searching for different things in Dallas and Austin other than just the name. So that would be my suggestion to try and capture more volume as far as your keywords go. Now, speaking of volume and keywords, another thing that I did want to talk to you about is something called backlinks. Now, the thing with Google is it's like a popularity contest because they judge you based on how many websites are pointing back at you, the quality of those websites, and whether they're relevant to the services and industry that you're in. So you're going to get a lot more power and influence from a um, backlink that's related to your industry like a commercial painter's blog or a popular website that features various types of home services as opposed to like your local Domino's Pizza. Now we do have a tool that is used to measure that and it's called Arifs. And I went ahead and plugged in your uh, homepage here. You have 323 backlinks from 87 referring domains. So 87 websites pointing back to you 323, 323 times. And that gives you an organic traffic of 87, which those are all very healthy numbers. I wanted to look at the keywords that you're currently targeting though, because as it stands right now, 
most of that volume of the 87 is coming from people searching your name, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, uh, uh, particularly if they're already familiar with your company, it makes it you know easier for you to find. But when it comes to gaining new customers that aren't necessarily be familiar with your name or who you are, you're gonna wanna target those high buyer intent keywords like you are here, uh, Painter McKinney, Texas, that's again, a very high buyer intent keyword. Unfortunately, you're ranked number 12 for that. So that's on the second, possibly even third page, depending on how populated it is. So um, this is what we look at to kind of judge what keywords you're ranking for, how you're doing with those, the volume that you're getting from them. And I wanted to take a look at your one of your competitors. So Dallas Paints, is one of your top competitors when it comes to searching Google. You'll see they have a thousand, over a thousand backlinks from 250 domains with an organic traffic of 173. Now, as you'll see, most of their top keywords are Dallas Painter, Painter Dallas, Texas, Interior Painting Dallas, and the list goes on and on and on. Again, they're not ranking for the top on um, all of those, but they are getting a significant amount of traffic from them. And those are gonna have a lot more buyer intent behind them than otherwise. The last thing I wanted to go over today is something called citations. Now, citations are very important because when someone goes to Google and searches, for example, Painter Dallas, Texas, you'll get your paid ads up here at the top. The next thing you get is this thing here called a map pack. Now, um, as you can see, Dallas Paints, again, showing up here in the number two spot. The only reason that some companies are featured up here and the order they're, they're featured in is simply because of something called citations, which is the name, address, and phone number of your business listed across the various directories online. Angie, Home Advisor, House, Porch, Yelp, those are all different directories. There's hundreds of them out there. These guys just have more than the rest. DFW Painting in particular has the most. And you want to get in that top spot because about 70% of the people that end up clicking into the map pack end up going to that top spot. So I hope that uh, the video was able to provide some insight into how you're currently stacking up against your competition and what you can potentially do to build on what you've already built, um, That's which is a great foundation. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Megan. Her number is 210-865-0718. We'd be happy to discuss it with you further. Thank you so much.